Today we're covering the Life Jacket Project, inspired by the artist IYY. Did you eat too much lunch or something? <laughs> this project was initiated at MS by our friends Sophia, Ihab and Maya in order to raise awareness and to assist in the plight of Syrian refugees. We have been wearing these life jackets since the morning. How do you feel right now? Would you trust these life jackets for your life, for your sister's life, for your mother's life? Well, they're definitely not comfortable, but that's half of the point. I mean, we knew they wouldn't be comfortable. They're not designed to be worn in an average day. They're very restricting in what you can do. Um, for example, you cannot carry your backpack. You can barely carry your tray at lunch. It's extremely uncomfortable and it puts you out of your comfort zone. Whether or not I would trust it with my life, no, I, I can't imagine having my life depend on this. We're just one inside what, each one, but then th those people have to fit maybe even three. And you have to imagine like they're, like they're using them for their relatives and I, I would never feel comfortable and like put their lives in like the one life jacket, you know? I don't feel comfortable at all. I feel like in any moment I'm gonna die and this jacket will help me. I don't know if it will or not. But this is, I don't know, it's, this project like helps people uh, like to feel a bit how much pain the refugee, the Syrian refugee suffers from when they have to cross the borders or when they have to move from a country to another country. And for me, this, I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't agree to wear it, never. What made you think that I should do that project, I should wear these life jackets, I should participate in that project. What do you think? I think for me a huge part of this project is bringing awareness towards the issue of the Syrian refugees and not just that but awareness towards the fact that we as individuals can change something, can help people. I mean right now we're not suffering, we're incredibly lucky to be here, to even have one life jacket per person, but that doesn't mean we shouldn't care and that doesn't mean we shouldn't try to help them. It's so important to actually, maybe for just one day or for a few hours, putting ourselves in the position of those people who every day are in need of something and they, every day they're suffering and struggling with just, you know, surviving. This will help people to feel, as I said before, to feel the pain that refugees, uh, the, the Syrian refugees suffer from. Because if people sit in, in front of the TV and see the refu Syrian refugees, they won't be much in, like affected from the situation as as when they like feel the real pain and they wear the life jacket for one day. So if you consider this day wearing life jackets as the first step, what's the next step going to be? Well, I mean, obviously there's many different steps that can be taken. There are steps that are personal that go towards expanding your own personal knowledge, understanding, and even the compassion. But there's more external steps as well, and that's more the direction that this campaign is focused on. And these include setting up an online funding account to raise physical money and donations for this cause. It also involves spreading this campaign. I mean, we want everyone to be involved. This is not an exclusive project. This is for everyone, because everybody can help. This is for schools, for workplaces, for NGOs, for offices, for pro camps, for programs, for families. Anybody that wants to be involved in this can be because we need to use our voices and we need to spread these messages that we can make a difference and we can work towards a better tomorrow for us and for the Syrian refugees and for everybody in this entire world. Donate to the Life Jacket Project by going to the charneyresolutioncenter.com site. See you next week at the, the Charney Resolution Center. Peace means taking into account the dignity of other people and the fact that there are other people who have certain rights.